So auto-centric development and private car ownership is unsustainable for our future city. It is crucial that we find alternative solutions. So this is congestion in China. And then traffic congestion and last mile problem. Currently, there are two trends that's fighting with this problem. Ride sharing, which is on demand, convenient, and bike sharing, which is flexible and affordable. What we are doing at MIT is bring together the best of both systems when we present the persuasive electric vehicle. So this is the first time we're showing this video. And then, uh, so PEV is a lightweight autonomous vehicle that's designed for share use. It delivers package and also transport people. So the user experience for, of using PEV, you can use your app and drop a ping on the map, and PEV will arrive shortly. When the passenger is on the PEV, PEV works as an electric tricycle. So it's very normal and intuitive that you can ride. But on the other hand, when you are riding PEV on the park, met your friend, you can actually get off the vehicle and switch to an e donkey mode where the PEV will follow you and carry your grocery where you can have conversation with your friend. PEV, we, 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 we have, it has a sophisticated human-machine interface where the researchers at MIT could explore not only the self-driving technology, but also the social interface and how these low-speed low robots can work in the low-speed environment, such as giving, you know, giving an eye. And then, so we're hoping that in the future, we can see this vehicle, we can use these vehicles on your campus or in the closed environment and transporting you from point A to point B. This is a bit longer, but it's kind of coming up. So this is an academia and research collaboration between MIT, Denso, and also Taipei Tech. With the support from the Taipei Tech and the students, we, we work very closely to bring this vehicle to life. But before I talked about the next journey of the PEV research, I would like to recap a couple of important prototypes in the past. So in, in 2016, CES, we actually we demonstrated this concept vehicle. The idea is that the future self-driving car could be friendly and it could be lightweight. Logically, then, we designed more of a bike-like vehicle that was legal in bike lanes. So can we turn off the, the, the music? Thank you. And then, so this is an engineering prototype. After a few months working, uh, we, we, we launched this engineering prototype. This prototype allows the users to quickly hack and experiment different ideas. Next slide, please. All right, and then, um, uh, so this is, a, this is a living lab experiment that we like to run in Taipei. This experiment, putting our research in the real world, allowed the researcher to understand better how this vehicle could work in a low-speed environment. It also helped us to validate and optimize our system. Next slide. Sorry about this, this hiccup. So, uh, this, uh, so uh, together, so basically this is a new refined prototype based on the previous testing results. So we package and we identify the practical systems and put them into a modularized architecture. And then in, combination, in, in collaboration with Denso, we're also exploring, exploring like the thermal seat and then ice cream delivering for the cold delivering and also facial recognition for, for user identification. And right now, we're working on this $1,000 PEV platform where we're hoping to democratize the mobility. And we want to invite our network and our friends in the network to join our future research journey. So this is like zero to one. So we provide the zero to one. At MIT, we treasure the sharing of knowledge. And we like to build ideas on top of each other. And we're hoping that one day we can turn this research into a movement where people around the world, from different parts of the world, they have the tool and the knowledge to build your own self-driving car. Thank you.